Hello and welcome back to Laura Fett Gaming Plays Baldur's Gate 3. I'm your host, Laura Fett, and in this Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough slash let's play video, we're about to explore the underground patches that does link to a Druid Grove. Yeah, I know, I was supposed to get out of that area, but still, I found something that links to it. And also how to disable the traps inside those underground passages. As always, like, comment, and subscribe much off more Dungeon Dragon videos, guides, and builds just like this. In the last video, we sort of finished up with Druid's Grove, but now we're going to go back into it with another way. Let's hear some party banter. You're an impressive What's fighter next? game. You should consider a new name. I take it you have some suggestions? The Wizard Wonder. Or how about the Master of the Week? Tempting, but I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show everybody how to get to the underground passage. So you follow this path as you're going towards the bridge. Instead of the bridge, there will be a check coming up, survival check. I failed it, and one of our party members didn't. This just tells you, uh, Lore, what the, uh, I should say, the, uh, uh, I think it's called a stone uh, gate. Yeah, that's the underground passage. I'm just checking this out. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Let me go ahead and do some alchemy. Oh, yeah, through the course of this uh, playthrough, I'm going to try to do a lot of alchemy. So this way I make some potions mainly. Also, if there's anything else I need to make, I'll uh, definitely do an antidotes, you uh, name it. I might have to start making a few of those too. You may never know. Yeah, I'm a little bit leery still about, of uh, course, getting poisoned since Dungeon Dragons 2.0. In other words, Baldur's Gate 1. Anyways, everyone, welcome to the Underground Passage. So you go through a stone door, and that's it. Simple, so easy. Okay, we're going to have to be careful in this because this section you're going to see coming up is uh, full of traps. Exactly three of them. I'm not counting the chest one, two. So here's the deal. There's uh, three uh, statue traps, which is the eagle, the bear, and the wolf. Kind of like a uh, druid thing. Except for uh, they're guarding it of unwanted fools. So I separate my uh, part and let me do it since I'm a tiefling. I can resist some fire. And we're going to go ahead and, of course, uh, get that rune stone. You touch the rune... Uh, the uh, trap of the ammo there will be gone. So in this case, it's the eagle. Okay, yeah, I got nicked quite a bit. I guess some of my saves didn't come in. Plus the explosive damage didn't help too. And there you go. We'll just use lay on hands, and that's uh, very uh, good. So uh, here's the deal. We're going to get everybody together and prepare them for combat coming up. This one can be really easy or hard. So, in order to cheese this battle, you want to do is uh, make sure you uh, definitely have the high ground. Yeah, that's right. So, Star Wars reference, but you want the high ground this time because uh, most of the foes are on the bottom. And if you use, I should say, range attacks, especially uh, magic, level zero, yeah, I call it, you'll all win. Now, I'm going to go ahead and initiate the combat by pushing the fool over. So, uh, this way, I get a surprise attack. Take advantage of surprise attacks. It'll help you out greatly. So I'm going to do some Paladin Stealth to start off the battle. Here we go. Fleet of foot. A tale for the ages. Let's finish this. Bleed for me. Moving. Still breathing, despite everything. Let my enemies 
fool. Mistra Rill. I'm going to say this. That was a flawless victory. Yeah. You see in uh, Baldur's Gate 3, just like Division Rizzle Sin 1 and 2, it depends where you're at. If you're at the high ground, you're going to really have a nice advantage. Since I am a bit caster hev heavy due to the fact that uh, while and of course, uh, Gale are really OP uh, casters in their own class. Made things easier. Heck, even Shadowheart did uh, well too. My, my main, main guy, he did alright. I started the battle by pushing, so anyways, what's coming up is uh, this. Uh, there's a halfling that's down we has uh, saved. He will need a heal. I'd probably say spend your level 1 spell slot to heal the poor guy, and that's it. Oh, by the way, do not use your uh, disable trap on the chest because uh, we're going to get the key. Yeah, this way uh, keys will uh, definitely uh, use it to uh, disable the trap by opening the chest up. So I'm going to go ahead and do some looting. After uh, that, I'm going to start the whole process to get this inspirational uh, point. breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. Take you, you. No one's stopped me yet. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. It's my fault. I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I step careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Now, because we healed up the halfling druid, we got ourselves another inspirational uh, point. So this is a uh, good. I have a feeling I'll be using that in this uh, video. Try to collect each and every inspirational point as you can if you get over four experience points. Oh, by the way, that was the uh, bear trap rune. That was uh, very easy to uh, do. Now, next one's tricky. Uh, separate your party. Make sure you have a, I should say, fire resistance elixir. Because this last one's going to be a gauntlet run. And uh, once you're there, go ahead and get the rune of the wolf. Once that's done, okay, let me do that again. There you go. It's all set and uh, done over with. There's the char key. Now, that will uh, open up the uh, treasure chest. Without using, of course, a uh, disabled trap kit. I'm going to pro try to explain this. Uh, I'm going to explain it now. I don't know if I did, but this is going to be a reminder anyways. In uh, Baldur's Gate 3, uh, if you have a key, that's like an automatic disable trap. 
if I remember correctly, I think it was Neverwinter Nights and uh, Baldur's Gate and such like that. Yeah, if you had the key, yeah, the trap is still there. In this one, no. This is like a uh, key to disable the trap. Kind of like if you have the key in Ultima Online, you get to disable the trap too, probably. I don't know. I'm still working on that. So anyways, we're going to ignore that. I'm going to hit the right. Hit the open lock. And it says unlock. It says use char key. Key's gone. I think it's used. We'll grab that. Now let's go ahead and check the nature snare out. This is a 4 to 11 uh, staff. It gives you ability to uh, trip people over. You know what? <laughs> I think Gale should have it. I really don't care about damage. He's just there for uh, spell casting needs. I should say melee damage. Oh yeah, by the way, Wiles, uh, when he's using Warlock spells, especially in a certain line, well, if he uh, spell connects with a crit or something like that, he gets a Dark One's Blessing. So he has uh, six additional hit points because his Christmas high and he's level 3. That's right, the modifier is 3. Even though his number is odd, yeah, they should build it at 16, but oh well. Oh yeah, that's the uh, bear trap I uh, did disabled. So all three are now disabled. Go to Runestone, just remember definitely with the wolf. Drink a, uh, I should say, fire resistance potion and do the run. And that should do it. Uh, now we're uh, at the Druid's Grove, yeah, by the prison. Oh, yeah, there's rotten food here. Try not to get it. You could get it to sell, but... Yeah, come on. Okay, you want to jump over at this part. Now we're going to get to the uh, tiefling that's injured. I want to help her out, or try to at least. I'm going to say this now. Uh, make sure you have lesser restoration. That might uh, do it. Or a scroll that says lesser restoration. I will try to do that in the future. Oops, I picked up a rotted carrot. A rotten carrot. Ooh, that's disgusting. We'll leave that on the uh, ground. Okay, watch out for exploding mushrooms. Seriously. Split your party up again. I'm going to use my paladin as bait. Again, the uh, virtue of sacrifice is coming into play, everyone. Uh, those of you who don't know that, play the, watch my Ultima series. Well, actually, four and five. That tells about the eight virtues. I'm plying them here to Barrow's Gate, or try to. Well, five, I was a thieving bastard. Seriously. Okay, I'm going to have to have Shadow Heart to help for a second. Yep, you have better perception than I do. Thanks a bunch. Well, actually, thanks a million times. So we'll go ahead and uh, shoot this one, and boom. Once that's there, uh, good news is you can climb into the house. There'll be a perception uh, check or so. If you fail, use your inspirational rolls. This way you could try to help her out. I'll try to help her out here now or before I uh, do uh, help the grove. Stop! This place is off limits! Leave. Was inventory today. I'm sorry. Nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear and fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. <sighs> All right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Maybe it just needs time to wear off. 
Fingers crossed the goblins don't return any time soon. A long way to go still. Nothing. Maybe... Maybe it just needs time to wear off. Fingers crossed the goblins don't return any time soon. Oh yeah, she has a debuff on her, so I should probably should have memorized lesser restoration, but... Uh, spells I have is uh, perfect. Anyway, I still have to use some level 2 spell slots uh, either way. I do have a nice one, uh, Prayer. It's outside uh, healing spell for everyone, AoE, but that's it. So we're going to go back where we uh, came from this time. We're going to go through the uh, prison. I'm going to go ahead and do explore more of the Druid side because I just recently checked off screen. Or I say uh, before the episode started. I'm a bit of map scouting. And yeah, there's another way I didn't uh, know, but still, it's a good thing. I uh, did discover And no, you cannot go over here to skip. I uh, kind of wish I did skip, but that's all right. So let's go uh, this direction. Yep, there we uh, go. So just keep on going and uh, keep on jumping. You're going to be doing jumping a few times. Oh, by the way, the bottom's absolutely uh, nothing coming up. I just want to save everybody some uh, space and such. All right, there we uh, have it. Let's go on uh, down carefully. Yeah, see, there's nothing. I wish there was something. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, well, there's another jumping area. I forgot. I might have to uh, scout that again. Oh, wow. I did not know that. New things you learn uh, after you, uh, of course, uh, watch your own videos. That's one. Well, okay, that might be a treasure chest or something like that or uh, loot. Oh, there's the annoying uh, goblin. Yeah, you're still uh, practicing the virtue of justice. You did a crime. You're going to jail. That's justice. End of story. I just did. I just dealt justice on you. Yeah, you're rotting in that uh, prison. Not cool. Anyways, uh, we're going back to the Druid side. And uh, there's a side way I want to go into. That's probably going to be for the next video. Anyways, but still I want to show everybody that. Okay, past the uh, thieving kids. Well, actually, um, the thieving tiefling kids merchants. Uh, past, uh, I think, uh, the little tiefling that tried to be a thief. But, yeah... Yeah, she tried. She's going to be a paladin. We're going to make her a paladin. If not, uh, make her a cleric, wizard, or even a warlock. Well, not a warlock. Nah. We're not going to put that into her. Yeah, she's scared already. That's too scary for her. They're very powerful, but still, that is way too scary. Yeah, I'm not into uh, killing kids. That's uh, future Ultima playthroughs. I missed the opportunity in five. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and check this area and uh, check this uh Friendly uh, bear. Something's on my mind. So uh, here's the deal. We're going to need animal speak with all the animals. If at uh, some point, if I do get it, I will return in a uh, future episode to speak with all the animals. So because we end at day one, a uh, special NPC will be coming up. But for now, read a book. This is the miniature giant ham uh, space hamster. Very important knowledge. But anyways, the special NPC will uh, come. You'll be teleported somewhere else. There will be some uh, dialogue choices. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that now. My, my. What manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation. Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? 
Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Call it a ninth sense. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Come now, why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpoled head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Everything is for sale, and you'd do well to sell while your stock has value. In desperate times, the price of honor plummets. Perhaps you haven't yet realized how desperate these times are. You will. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Okay, that was a devil. Good thing my Paladin Oath can, uh, definitely kicked in. Meeting time, everyone, at the camp. We're not resting. No, we're going to the camp. I'm going to talk to everybody about we, what just happened. Yeah, things just got from bad to really worse for all of us. So I'm going to get some information. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is.
Good. That's what I wanted to hear. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Perhaps you didn't. See? Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. I wonder what the next move is. What to do? What path lies before me? <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of... Well, someone I used to know. Someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games. Unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my Queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my Queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. 
and then require more still. You might think you give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. The pride of the gate. My faith protects me. Yes? Still breathing, despite everything. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> yes, they offer you an apple, but they're the worm that lurks within. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation, it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Conjecture? Yes. That much I concede. But let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. Quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. Admittedly, it's an area in which I have a modicum of expertise. And, based on the evidence before us, it's hard to imagine any other motivation. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, we're safe for now. We wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormerian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Should mine my step. Yeah, so far so good. Everybody agrees not to take the deal. I got some approval ratings too from party members. Anyhow, uh, here's a recap for this uh, video. So I found the underground passage, started clearing the eagle trap. I got that out of the way, kill up the goblins there. I have the high ground because of that. Then uh, disable the last two runic, uh, I should say, uh, traps linked to the statues. Once I was said and done, found a uh, injured tiefling. Unfortunately, I could not cure her at all. Went to uh, outside the uh, Druid's Grove on the Druid's side, met Raphael. He was really bad news. Everybody agree? Yeah, don't take the deal. This is it from my Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough, underground passage, and how to disable the traps video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night, and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons & Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner, or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.